like so much homework last year. I couldn't let her, I, everyone hates her. Like, I don't think a single person liked her. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thanks for watching me uh, through the bus app. You didn't have to do that, you know? I know I don't have to, but I want to. Plus, I can spend more time with my best friends, oh. so it really is a win win. I'm such a sap now. Of course. Can't believe we're gonna be in high school tomorrow. We're getting so old. I'm I'm so nervous. Don't be. You are amazing, and you're gonna be the most informed one there with all those dumb old movies you're obsessed with. Hey, those are not dumb. They are John Hughes, and I know that you would love them just as much as I do. Hmm, you're telling yourself that, sweetheart. Um, my bus is here. Goodbye. Bye. You guys make a cute couple. Who makes a cute couple? You and the pretty girl that got on the bus. Liz? I, I guess. She, we are in a couple. She's just my best friend. Oh, I'm sorry. It was a mistake. Do you really think that we look like a couple? Why are we whispering? Oh, I get it now. You're closet. What? You're in the closet. You know what that means, right? I know what that means. I'm just not in it. How long have you liked your friend? Liz, right? Like her? I don't like her. I mean, I do like her. I love her. But not like that. I've known her since preschool. Is it that obvious? Blinding. How about we go get some coffee? What? We're eating some coffee. Come on, I know this really great coffee shop. But I don't even know your name. Emma, Emma Green. And you are? Rachel. Well, Rachel, would you like to go get some coffee with me? Sure, I have nothing better to do. That's the spirit. Let's go. Rachel, do you know why I asked you here today? No, you never told me. Well, I took you here so that you can talk to someone and be completely honest with them. And I'll be completely honest with you. You know, I was just like you a few years ago. What do you mean, just like me? Closeted. Emma. Emma, Emma Green. Yeah, that's me. Don't wear my name out. Oh my god, you were the 8th grader that came out as lesbian to the whole school over the loudspeaker, weren't you? Oh, sweet! Yeah, I'm famous! Yeah, that was me, but I'm not in 8th grade anymore. I'm a sophomore. Oh, but enough about me. Let's talk about you. Here's your drinks. Thank, Thank you. you. If you need anything else. Thank you. <laughs> so, how long have you known you weren't straight? I don't know. There was not really just one moment. I guess I always felt a little different than the other girls. I think they saw that I was different too. I guess that I'm, that's why I was so close to Liz. She was the first person who didn't act like there was something wrong with me. We were raised like sisters and I had the realization that I liked her about a year ago. A year ago? Wow. I forgot I was lesbian when I was 12 and told everyone four months later. I don't think I could have kept the secret that big for that long. Why haven't you come out yet? I guess I'm just scared of what my parents might think or that I might be rejected by the community itself. I understand not wanting to put yourself out there in the fear of getting hurt, but you will never be happy if you don't. I am happy. Truly happy. Coming out is one of the hardest things you'll ever have to do in your life. It'll feel like you're naked. What I mean by that is you're gonna have to show the world your true self for the first time and you're gonna be terrified to do it. I mean, like, you will only prevail if you just put yourself out there and show the world your free and unedited self. I get what you're saying, but I can't be myself if I don't know who I am. Well, then I'll help you figure it out. Thank you. Hey, no problem. You should join my Skype group. We have a call in about half an hour if you want to get on with me. What do you do on this call? Oh, so it's different people from the LGBTQ community, and we are different ages, genders, sexualities, and we basically just talk to each other and support each other. We tell each other everything, basically. Uh, okay. Oh, 
can we go to your house for the call? We don't have time to get back to mine. Sure. Okay. Cool. Let's go. Emma, what are you doing in there? I'm looking for you. Duh. All right. All logged in. Okay, great. So, before we get on the call, I want to introduce you to everyone's pronouns. There's Ren. He uses he, him pronouns, and he is transgender. And then there's Theo, my best friend, and he is gay, so he also uses he, him pronouns. And then there's Riles, Riley. They use they, them pronouns because they are non-binary. Got it? Almost. What's non-binary again? Riley is not male or female. They lay outside the gender binary, therefore non-binary. Got it. This is gonna have to take some getting used to. Don't worry about it. Think of me as your lesbian spirit guide. Oh look, the call is starting. Hey everyone, this is Rachel. Rachel, this is everyone.